What is the shape of the universe? Einstein's theory of general relativity describes how mass and energy can curve space-time, giving rise to the phenomena of gravity. Space-time is the fabric of the cosmos, and it incorporates the three dimensions of space, up and down, left and right, and back and forth, and the fourth dimension of time. The mass and energy of the universe can also curve space-time, and there are three possible curvatures the universe could have. 1. Positive curvature. 2. Negative curvature. Or 3. No curvature at all, i.e. B flat. Before we explore the question of what the shape of our universe is, one thing to note is that observations tell us that the space in our universe is stretching, the critical energy density. The critical energy density of the universe is the mass and energy contained per unit volume of space needed for a universe to be flat. That means the gravity produced by the mass and energy in the universe is such that it perfectly balances out the stretching of the universe. So when the universe has critical density, it continues to stretch at a decreasing rate forever until infinite time has passed, whereupon the stretching will finally halt. But as we all know, infinity has no end. The density parameter. The density parameter symbolized by the letter omega in the Greek alphabet is used to determine what curvature the universe has. It is the average mass energy density of the universe divided by the critical energy density. If the density parameter is more than one, there is positive curvature. If the density parameter is less than one, there is negative curvature. And if the density parameter is exactly one, i.e. the average mass energy density of the universe is the same as the critical energy density, then the universe is flat. For the universe to have positive curvature, there is enough mass energy density in the universe to produce gravity that will warp space-time enough to eventually overcome the stretching of space so that the universe will collapse back in on itself to form a closed universe. For the universe to have a negative curvature, there is not enough mass energy density to produce enough gravity that can halt the stretching of space. So the universe will be an open saddle-shaped universe which continues to stretch forever at a decreasing rate. And we have already covered that in a flat universe, there is just enough mass energy density to produce gravity that perfectly balances out the stretching of the universe. What do we mean by a flat universe? When describing the universe as flat, it's not meant that it's flat in the same sense as a 2D shape is flat, but rather that the geometry of the universe is such that parallel lines will never cross, the angles in a triangle will always add up to 180 degrees, and the corners of cubes will always make right angles. In a closed universe, the angles of a triangle would be more than 180 degrees. In the open saddle-shaped universe, the angles of a triangle would add up to less than 180 degrees. And in the flat universe, as mentioned, the angles of a triangle would add up to exactly 180 degrees. We think our universe may be flat. We can calculate the density parameter using two methods, and both methods indicate that it is very close to 1 therefore suggesting that our universe is very close to being flat. The first method involves counting up all the mass energy in the universe, taking its average density, then dividing that average by the critical energy density. The second method involves using the cosmic background radiation. The CMB is a picture of our universe 380,000 years after the Big Bang event, and it is made up of the first light that was able to travel freely through space. To determine the shape of the universe, we draw a massive imaginary triangle on the CMB and calculate the sum of the angles of the triangle, only to find that they add up to almost exactly 180 degrees, 
again indicating that our universe is very close to being flat. How inflation can explain the flatness. Before we get too excited and state definitively that our universe is flat, we have to remember that our universe went through a period of exponential faster than the speed of light stretching of space known as inflation and inflation drives the universe towards flatness, smoothing out the fabric of the universe. We can only measure the observable universe which may be part of a much larger universe which might not be flat. The analogy that is often used is how an ant sitting on the surface of a large inflating balloon would assume that the surface it is sitting on is flat because that is how it would always appear to him from his tiny perspective. We may be that ant and the universe is so massive that whatever we can measure will appear flat to us. So in summary, experimental data seems to indicate that our observable universe is very close to being flat but we can't state that definitively about the global universe in its entirety. If you like my content and want to help me make more science and educational videos for YouTube, please consider becoming a supporter of London City Girl Knowledge on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding platform where you can support your favourite online creators by giving them a small sum of money each month. In return, you will get rewards such as graphics and wallpapers for your phone and computer, educational cheat sheets which you can print off and keep, as well as ebooks on a range of educational topics. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to London City Girl to show your support.